we will talk about the negative binary numbers now so there are two ways of representing a binary number uh, that is negative so one technique that's the simpler one that's called signed binary number and the other one is two's complement that's what we're gonna discuss in this next page with this carousel but let's first focus on the signed number so for a four digit number for binary digit number with the signed the first digit here is a uh, this is a this is for the sign of the number so if this sign if this bit is zero that means this is a positive number if this bit is one this is a negative number so let's say you have a number one one zero one so the first bit is the sign so since this is one it's going to be a negative number and then you will look at this part one zero one so one one two four four plus one this is five so this number is not minus five so if you wanted to say plus five then we would say zero at the beginning for the first bit and then one zero one which is five if you wanted to say minus three then the first bit has to be 1 and since it's 3 it's going to be 0 1 1 so this is signed binary system if you're not say said that it is signed or two's complement you're going to assume everything is unsigned and there will be no negative numbers but if it is signed then the first bit is always for the sign so for a 4-bit system, if you have a 4-bit system, 4-bit signed system, then you would have numbers, the uh, smallest number, the negative number, would be the first bit is 1, that's negative, and if you make all of them are 1, then this is going to be the biggest negative number which is minus 7 for the positive number again same 0 1 1 1 then this is going to be positive 7 so for a 4-bit sign system you have numbers from minus 7 to plus 7 and notice here that for zero you have two numbers that are represented with zero so zero 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 is your decimal zero but also one zero 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 is your zero well this is positive zero this is negative zero which are which are the same thing so two comp two's complement is a little bit different and it allows you to have only one zero in the system instead of two zeros but also it allows you to have a system for four bit for four bit two's complement it allows you to have one more number to be represented which is minus 8 up to positive 7 so in terms of the first bit it is the idea is similar so if the first if the first bit is 0 then that's a positive number if this is 0 then this is a positive number 
and you will just read the whole number including the first bit but which is zero then that's going to be your uh, positive number if it is one though this is a little bit tricky if you have and that means your number is going to be negative but the idea is going to be your negative number if it is minus a that a is your number is going to be represented by 2n 2 to the power of n minus a again for the 4-bit system n is 4 for a 4-bit system let's say you want to represent minus 3 the way to show minus 3 you're gonna have to write 2 to the power of 4 minus 3 so this is your a and this is your 4 so this number is gonna be 16 minus 3 13 so 13 is in binary format format 1 1 0 1 8 12 13 so this is your negative number if you want to show minus 1 then again it's going to be 16 minus 1 which is 15 and that's going to be 1 1 1 1 so these are your binary numbers I'll fix this too so now let's look at this carousel format uh, representation for 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 two's complement so this is two's complement your numbers from 0 to minus 8 then 7 to 0 and this is how you start your numbers so it, uh, for all your positive numbers are exactly the same but when it starts being negative 1000 zero, zero, zero would be your minus 8 and then it's gonna go all the way up here so as your number the binary number gets bigger the actual representation in decimal is gonna be actually a smaller closer to zero so this is the idea so how do we do this how do we really create the two's complement number this is kind of uh, uh, cumbersome if you wanna do like you get the 16 and minus it and then put the binary number it's actually a little bit simpler so when you want to find a negative number the first step is to find the find the binary representation of that number not positive or negative find the binary number then complement each bit that means you will change zeros to one and ones to zero and then you will add one so here is an example we want to find the representation of minus fun minus five so we will write five first which is zero one zero one then we will take the two's complement I'll complement each bit 1 to 0, 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 and then 
I'll add 1 to this number which is going to be 1 1 0 1 so this is your minus 5 let's look at minus 1 again we're going to write it for just a positive number 0 0 0 1 we're going to take the complement 1 1 1 0 and we're going to add 1 it's going to be so this is 1 1 1 1 so this is your minus 1 let's say we are given a number a binary number with two's complement let's say the number is 1 0 1 1 it's we say that it's a two's complement number so the first bit is 1 that means it's a negative number so we need to do the same trick we're gonna complement the number 0 1 0 0 and add 1 to find out what is the magnitude of the number so this is the magnitude of the number 1 0 1 1 here 4 here so this is plus 5 this number is plus 5 but your actual number because there is 1 here that is minus 5 So let's do another one. Let's see. Minus, let's do 1, 1, 1, 1. So the first bit is 1. Then we're going to have to complement each bit to figure out the magnitude of the number and add 1. So your number is 0, 0, 0, 1, which is 1 so that means your real number is minus one we're gonna discuss more about this and uh, subtraction and addition later